Hey everyone, Techaday and Cosplay here with another tutorial. And what are we going to be learning about today? How to make a foam gauntlet, or more specifically a bracer, featuring my dog. This is my workspace. First, I'll go over what we're going to be using in order to make it, and then we'll jump right into it. First, I'm going to be using some butcher paper from the Home Depot. The big roll of just a brown colored paper, it's almost like construction paper. We'll use that to make the pattern of my arm. And then also, when we go to add details on top of that original piece, we'll use that same pattern. Next, I have this little foam ruler, as I call it. It helps you account for the thickness of the material. You should make one out of any foam that you use, so this is 2 millimeter. And then also I have one out of EVA. Next, a trusty <coughs> next a trusty cutting mat. Stuff to cut your foam with. I just changed the blade in this guy, so I'll be using him. Scissors for adjusting our pattern. An exacto knife for cutting out our two millimeter foam. Regular EVA foam, these are the floor mats that you can find at Harbor Freight or other hardware stores. And finally, some contact cement for going ahead and attaching the two pieces of foam together. Then the one thing I don't have in front of me is a heat gun. And then also, make sure you do this in a well ventilated space. If not, use a mask. So let's go ahead and get started. First step is to take our butcher paper. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to guesstimate what our arm looks like. And how I'm going to see how I'm doing is I'm just going to keep putting it over my arm and seeing how it turns out. So obviously this is too long. My elbow's right here, my wrist is right here, and then it goes all the way around. Well, I only wanted to cover about half of my arm. This is the basic shape that we'll be using for our bracer. It's nothing fancy. That's just how I like it. Now, we'll take this basic shape. We'll trace it onto a piece of our foam. So just using a marker, I'll just trace it directly onto the foam. This part doesn't need to be perfect because there's always going to be some touching up that we want to do. Trace it on our foam. Now we'll go ahead and cut it out. But now what? It doesn't really fit my arm. It doesn't really curve around or anything. I mean, it bends, but it doesn't hold shape. So now what I'm going to do is off camera real quick. I'm going to use a heat gun. You can use a hair dryer if you don't have one. Just a heat source that allows you to direct some hot air onto this. Be sure to use a gas mask while you're doing this. As, as the foam heats up, it releases some chemicals, and those just aren't too good for you. So I'll go ahead and I'll heat it up, and then I'll shape it by pulling and twisting and applying torque in the middle. As you can see, I'm already applying some shape to it just with no heat. Maybe that's because I live in Florida and there's enough just in the air. And then when we'll be back, it should be fitting my arm. I've heated up my bracer, the base of it, and molded it to my arm. I'm happy. I like the mobility. It hangs off my elbow just a little bit, which means it's just right. I noticed a couple pieces that I'm going to have to clean up. Although my knife was sharp, there's still a little bit we have to do. And I'll clean that up with a Dremel. At the end, you can also hand sand it, depending on which tools you have. But next, I want to add some detail to the top. Obviously, it's pretty cool how we've gotten this far. But most characters' bracers that you want to emulate aren't just going to be a flat slab of something. You might luck out, and they might be. My characters are not. So I've taken my original pattern, and I've folded it in half. And the perk about this is now I'm going to draw the shapes on that I want that I'll use the 2mm foam for. 
I'll trace them onto that, I'll cut that out, and I'll use contact cement to lay down the details on this. And that will allow me to make it look like it's one solid piece. So I went ahead and I drew the pattern on using a black marker, which might be hard to see. But the black marker is the outline, and then the blue is the area I want to keep. So I'll go ahead and I'll cut this out with my X-Acto knife. And I'll be sure when I'm doing it to hold the edge tight, because if the edges become skewed, I can easily ruin my pattern. So now I have cut out my design. It's kind of like a snowflake at this point. And what I'll do is I'll lay it flat on top of my 2mm foam. I'll go ahead and trace it. And when, after I trace it, I'll cut it out. And I can contact cement it to this piece. Okay, so I've taken my pattern that you guys saw before, the little paper snowflake, and I've traced it on to my 2mm foam. And there's a couple of things I'm going to go ahead and make sure it's even. Because although when you're sticking it onto your piece, you can shift it a little bit, the more precise it is here, the easier your life is going to be over here. Something else I suggest doing is, now that you've traced it on here, I suggest taping it down to this piece and giving it a loose outline so then when you go to apply your glue and eventually stick it on, you'll have almost like a template or a coloring book sort of outline of where everything's supposed to go and that will also make your life easier. I'll trace and cut out whoosh, the detail that will go on the top. I've traced that piece directly onto my foam, roughly. Now, I use some contact cement. You can use barge. I use DAP. That's just what's readily available to me, and a chip brush. Be sure to either do this outdoors in a well-ventilated area, or use a gas mask when you do it. Let that sit until it's dry to the touch. My bottom of my bracer looks pretty glossy. I mean, the glue is dried, and then on the white foam, I don't know if this is the same for barge, but when you're using the DAP product, uh, it'll turn white foam a uh, slight yellow. So I guess that's also as a warning if you're going to use that as your top coat. Or let's say you do something on this side and you mess up. There will be a little bit of yellow. I mean, you can see it right here. If you do your surface prep right, it won't be a big deal. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach the two. And you don't just want to slap it on. I typically like to try and work like top to bottom or left to right. On this one, I think I'm going to try and do this top corner to this corner right here and I think I'm going to try and go across. And there you have it guys. As you can see I've attached it. It's not super perfect down the middle but when you're wearing it you got to remember that people aren't always going to see everything. I still have a couple things to do. I have a little bit of a lip right here on the bottom of the foam that I'll take care of when I'm using my Dremel as part of the surface prep. But in terms of the construction this piece is done and it will go on my arm just like this. I have to make this look like a leather piece. So I'll go ahead and I'll paint it. And then I have, I have a big roll of it right there, but then I have a bunch of fake leather that looks like this. I think I'll use that for the strapping, and then I'll also try and match that color pattern on here. But I can't be more excited with how it turned out. Construction end-to-end, -end, with the exception of letting the glue dry, was probably only about... 30 to 45 minutes worth of work. If you really know what you're doing and you can multitask like that, especially if you already have the pattern, you could have cut two of these out, you could have cut two tops out. I bet you you could make a pair of bracers in terms of construction in under an hour. So that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching, guys. Like the video. If you want more people to see it, leave a comment if this helped you, if you have any questions or any ideas that might make the video better. And if you want to see more creations and cosplay how-tos, go ahead and give me a subscribe, wherever it is. I appreciate it, guys. This was Tech Cosplay. Out.